We are lost. We do not know where to go. I pray that the whole world pressurizes Israel to end the war and release us. We are tired. We've been walking around without knowing where to go. The International Court of Justice has rejected South Africa's request to pressure Tel Aviv to safeguard Palestinians that are being threatened by its ground assault in Rafah. The court upheld its last ruling demanding Israel to stop striking civilian targets. This comes after South Africa lodged an urgent request asking the United Nations top court to check whether Israel was breaching the provisional orders handed to it by the court in a case alleging the Israeli forces of genocide in the Gaza Strip. The court also ruled against providing additional emergency measures to protect the rights of Palestinians. About 1.4 million people are sheltered in Rafah, which was designated as a safe zone. Israel has now been threatening to launch an offensive in the area, a move which is being denounced by the international community and Tel Aviv's Western allies. Meanwhile, Hamas has said that Israeli hostages are quote-unquote struggling to stay alive. The militant group Father said that the hostages, like Palestinians, are suffering from hunger and lack of medical help. Hamas has linked this to the deteriorating conditions in the Strip due to relentless Israeli bombardments. Hamas abducted 250 hostages during the October 7th attacks, and as per Israeli sources, about 130 hostages remain in captivity. Just this week, diplomats from the US, Qatar and Egypt try to broker a deal to halt the fighting in exchange of Israeli hostages. And U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken hinted at the possibility of the deal's success. No public breakthrough could be made. On Friday, Hamas's Gaza Health Ministry announced that at least five patients in the Nasser medical complex were killed due to lack of oxygen and power outages following Israeli strikes on the hospital. The Nasser Medical Complex is the biggest functioning hospital in the Gaza Strip. Separately, U.S. President Joe Biden has said that he pushed for a temporary truce during his extensive talks with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Friday. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.